Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos uh, just give you a good uplift or a good vibe that um, it was truly needed, please give a thumbs up and share. It would be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101 Hey Okas. How powerful you can, uh, uh, not realizing how powerful you can be to put something that that feeds the soul be something that feeds the soul do something that feeds the soul you know it's just like um i started doing my videos and my podcast and it allowed me to see so many levels of my life that i never thought i would be able to uh endure you know um just being able to see the life lessons on uh being able to put use my platform as a therapeutic uh <laughs> you know uh healing technique and these are the things that's truly uh bless uh truly a blessing to me you know i learned a lot of through my um through my experiences of uh you know my future not my future but my past experiences as well as my present and um just being able to understand how you know so many things can take place into your life whether it can be very traumatic very dramatic or just you know put you in a standstill or it, it can make you feel stagnant and there'll be certain things that the universe will guide you towards to be able to understand you know um so much you hold so much potential and power within yourself and you know a lot of times we don't figure that out until you know we hit rock bottom until we start going through different things that are totally out of our control you know uh going through some kind of struggle you know and it always brings a silver lining to know you know these are the lessons and blessings that you you truly need you know um you're guiding to do things that really uh make you feel passionate about yourself and about others you know going through the change of uh whatever the life is like wherever your life of guides are leading you and you know being able to do that um it really takes place into your life and it is very empowering and, you know, going through all these different things, it's like, you know, um, it feeds your soul in so many different ways. You know, being able to understand where where's your passion at, you know, what do you feel like you can contribute uh, towards the world that is not just impacting you, but impacting the change of the universe. You know, we're really truly needing that right now. You're going through so many different changes into your life. You know, a lot of times it can be very dramatic. It can be very hectic. Um, it can be very annoying and frustrating. Um, but these are the different things. It's like a lot of times we have to be able to take that step back, you know, you know, take that breather, you know, take that cause for the cause, you know, cause for the cause. Um, and so many different things. And being able to do that, you know, when we get out of our feelings and change the perspective of things, you know, not realizing those stagnation is uh, prepared for elevation in some kind of way. And these are the things that you learn and grow from on each and every day basis, you know, and, and it shows you, you know, that that's why they always tell us, you know, be risk takers when it comes to certain things, you know, uh, allow yourself to not be play so safe, you know, um, not being able to do that, you know, because there's a lot of times that I've dimmed my light, you know, I held back a lot um, on different things, you know, worried about, especially here, you know, because I have so many people that don't want, you know, they pray for my downfall. So they, you know, I had to be careful about different things that I talk about. And it'll be universe is telling you, you know, told me, you know, stop playing so safe. You know what to say and what not to say from past experience, what to do. You know, I always tell people, move in silence. You know, never, never let the left hand know what the right hand's doing. You know, um, just being able to understand your, your current destination is not your final destination. If you're going through some kind of stagnation, if you're going through some kind of pain, you're going through some kind of hurt, you know, feeling like you're not being seen, you're not being heard, you're not being respected. You know, these are those different things that are uh, triggering you. To create better for it to your life you know it's all about how we choose to see our situations and what they are you know because a lot of times we don't realize there's blessings in every situation that we go through and a lot of times it's hard to see that when you're going through so much but they're telling you you know allow yourself to feel this you know you are being 
guided towards something so powerful that's within you because it's like everything we're searching for is within us but it, it, it takes certain situations to bring that out you know and, and it, it's just showing you 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 know you're a mastery of alchemy you know be resilient be be uh you know consistent persistent be motivated be determined you know a lot of times it's like the situations that we fear the most should be that fuel to allow that to know this is not you know, this is that illusion would allow you to feel like, you know, it, it's speaking death on your life. It's speaking death on uh, the things that, you know, it can really, you know, blossom into your life. These are the different things that's telling you to separate from that. Get that out of your head. You know, allow yourself to understand, you know, you, you hold that power and everything that you're being guided towards is going to reflect that in so many different ways. You know, allow yourself to keep going, keep moving, you know, allow yourself to be you know add add some kind of a, a challenge to the mix on what was taking place into your life you know um everything that you're going through uh holds energy of, of of a flex of some kind of you know um insight that you truly needed to know and it is just like you can you know it's, you have to be at that vibration where it's telling you you know if you look look back at your past don't look back at your past and dwell but look back back in your past to be able to see how far you have come and you you're able to do that and these are the different things that's telling you this feeds your soul that you know it's just like you're going through all these different things and it teaches so many life lessons that you really need to know you know it's just like i go through so many different things in life and a lot of times where it just felt like, oh God, you know, is this going to ever end? And then it's just like, you know, these are the things that's really telling you to tap into your intuition, tap into your intuitive. What is your gut telling you? What is your heart telling you? You're fixing your mind on being able to allow yourself instead of dwelling on different things that took place into your life that, you know, happened and it happened. Don't hold shame. Don't hold shit. Oh don't hold guilt but being able to show gratitude towards what's taking place you know being able to have an appreciation for it and a lot of times it's hard to do that when you you've gone through some really crazy stuff but then it's just like if you're going through different things in your life and, and, and it could have been toxic it could have been you know a heartbreak it could have been this and this and that it's telling you you can be able to make it on your own you know regardless on what you're going through at that time what you're lacking you can make it on your own you know if it's love lack, this is at that time where it's showing you you can place love into yourself and it and, and it can hold balance or even exceed that of what you're not getting around you or getting from other people that you yearn for. And these are the different things that are taking place that shows you, you know, you're, you're a very powerful person. And a lot of times it's hard to be able to see that when you go through so many different things. And it's just like, you know, um, you're, you're being used for something. You know, you're being used for something because a lot of times when you are that one who's anointed, you're the one who's are chosen, they will put you in some situations. When I tell you situations, that'll be you feel like it's impossible to over you know, to overcome this. It's impossible to heal. It's impossible to be that winning, uh, that winning subject. And universe and God is telling you if we placed you in that, don't ever feel like that that impossible is gonna make you're gonna be that one that's gonna make it possible. It's just you have to be able to believe that, you know, and then when you're going through these different things into life, it may make you really earn that, <laughs> you know, you're going to earn that badge and it, you know, and it can be very elongated. You'd be like, universe, you know, I'm doing this. You told me, you know, you asked me to do this and it really, you know, is really not showing the fruit, fruits of my labor It's really not being seen the way I thought it was. And this is where they're telling you keep going because you're learning so much more about yourself. This is how you're doing it through that time of struggle, through different things. Because a lot of times, you know, if it hits straight off like that, you really don't have appreciation for it. You really don't hold gratitude. You're not going to want to really work harder for anything else, especially if they get you into that state where you're comfortable in all, all forms, you know, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, sexually, financially, all those different things. But if they make you really work hard for it and it's like it really has you stretched out, when you finally get to that situation, you're going to understand why they made you, you know, really, really be patient for that. Why you had to really be on that heavy weight of being able to hold belief into your life, being belief in, into your guides, you know, God, universe, you know, your, our, our tribal ancestors, our ancestors, all those different things are even helping us. Even our enemies, they help us is, is doing the same thing. And these are those different things that you truly will appreciate 
from everything that's going on into your life. And it is just like, you know, you face so many different trials and tribulations into your life. And it is showing you, it's guiding you towards things that they can really feed your passion, is feeding your soul, is really allowing yourself to get into that vibration of opening up to a new possibility because a lot of times we don't realize it gets the what, what the frustration is is right now that we're going through because there's so many different heavy situations is that we're stepping out of that line of the old belief you know limiting beliefs you know uh toxic patterns toxic traits you know uh soul ties to cut ties you know toxic you know uh attachments to toxic relationships karmic cycles and all these different things when we're stepping out of those bounds of that loop you know it gets very uncomfortable because we've been so used to that and a lot of times it's like hard as like well you got to step out your comfort zone and you could be going through the hell of the war it's like how am i comforted by that because we felt in our mind that this is all our life is going to be this is all that's going to take place. It can't go. It can't get better. Even if it's it's in that insight that universe is giving us, saying, "Hey, if you you take a you you take a gamble with us, you you know you allow yourself to step out of this and let us help you." And being able to get out of this and just showing you this 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 situation is pre preparing you for something so powerful, you know. But you have to be able to step out of that vibration and do that. And they know it's hard. You know, depending on whatever you're going through, they know it's hard because it's the fact is when you have lived in that vibration for so long and you trying to cut out of that tide of a loop that, I mean, for you staying positive, you staying focused, you know, you having that belief even when things are going around you that make you want to doubt every, every, every your own existence. You know, that can be very hard. That That's what they tell you. Go through your emotions. There'll be days that you're depressed. There'll be days that you're mad. There'll be days you're frustrated, annoyed. You may be feeling like ending it all. You may be wanting to give up. But they're telling you, allow yourself to face these things. Don't allow yourself to yield. You know, allow yourself to gather into different, um, uh, what do what they call it? Hot dog, I can't think about the word. Um, it's like self-medicating, you know, doing those different things. Um, and it can be hard at times, you know, especially if you um, are dealing with something very, very, very heavy. You know, you may be um, dealing with self-medicating, you know, through addictions like pills, drugs, you know, um, uh, herbal herbal essence you know herbal, herbal herbal talks but i say i tell everybody i don't feel like that's a drug anyway it's just a, a herbal supplement that taps help you tap into the mind of you know broader perspective but it'll be a time where universal allow you to know okay you don't use that enough now you can make this on your own because all of a sudden next thing you know you it, it don't stimulate you like it used to now i had people ask me i put in a video a lot so i'm like rosa when do you know it's time to stop smoking herb when you ask me that question when it gets to that point where you have smoked and smoked so much and you don't even get stimulated off of that if you do it's a real quick in and out you know i used to be that way you know where i used to do it so much that i was just like what's wrong with me you know it's not you know i'm not feeling it no more and this and this and that, and that was just universe's way of saying we know what you're going through is something that you had to have a stimulation to be able to see things from a higher perspective without you going postal or being charged having a charge or two or three or four you know but these are the different things that it's like now it's time for you to have faith in yourself no now you have opened up that line that veil you know that veil is dissolved when you're stepping out of the matrix you're stepping out of uh different beliefs that are not you know are not uh of, of your vibration anymore and these are the different things that's doing that and it's like right now things are so 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 when i say very uncomfortable like it, it gets you aggravated it just feels like you know different things aren't taking place into your life where you know it's, it's going to be truly needed for you but these are the things that's telling you think beyond the you know think outside the box think beyond of what you believe you know uh and it's just telling you that these are the different things that's taking place into your life where you know it can really take you there but it's just for you to be able to uh trigger into that we can trigger our egos we can trigger our fears this is that time to trigger your power trigger your light because it's there you know showing up for yourself like never before because it's waiting for you to acknowledge that 
So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Drita W. Much love. Drita W. Much love to you. I'm thinking about Drita from Dagon Mob Wise Lord. That, that girl, uh, Albanian. <laughs> I was like, I'm thinking about my girl. My person's Albanian. But anyways, uh, Drea and uh, Jamal Jackson and Blue River. Much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, much love to you. It's so good to have you. Um, if you are comfortable enough, drop a line, please. I would love to be able to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I always leave my uh, contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, you know, being able to give you a broader perspective of your life of purpose and your, your path of purpose. Uh, giving you an understanding of that, whatever we speak on, you know, um, it is confidential. You know, I'll be able to help out the best way I possibly can. And if you are interested in podcasts, I'll also leave my podcast there too. If you're interested in podcasting, um, I could be able to uh, give you insight about that too. You know, I love being able to do that, you know, um, and being able to further that branch on that. I really love it. You know, it helps me out a lot, you know, therapeutically, you know, just to be able to, you know, have a positive outlet into my life. You know, I love being able to do this here as well as there. So if you ever think about doing that, you know, I can help you out as well as that. And if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, the cash app is there as well also. So I hope you have a blessed week. I hope you got whatever you needed um, insight through the new moon of cancer. So, uh, you know, have a blessed week. I hope whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, I send you whatever vibes you are needing to get to there. You know, stay persistent and consistent. Even when things don't feel like it's moving or it feels like you're stagnant or it feels like you're not getting your way in certain things or it just seems like it's moving slow, keep going. If you need to take a pause, do that. But don't give up. You know, the devil busy right now. Don't give him nothing to do. <laughs> Tell him he's alive today, tomorrow, and a year after that, and so forth. You got this. He sees the potential in you. He sees the light. And he's doing any and everything to make sure that doesn't happen. So you keep on going because you make you feel like you want to give up today. Just because your blessings may open the door for you tomorrow. So keep going. Namaste. Much love to you. Shalom. I say grand risings. And much love and God bless. And even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things can really take you, uh, take someone a long way. And just because you help them to realize that it's going to take them even further. So you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.